<laughs> it's a new place. Alamo Barbecue. Danny and Casper want some barbecue before we head back home, so let's grab some of this stuff. This place is pretty dope. It's a house, and <laughs> the restaurant's literally in someone's backyard. I was looking at this, though. The duck truck, it's kind of faded, but if you look on Instagram from... Wait, that's not what I was looking at. <laughs> if you look at duck truck, because look, their Instagram tag's still up there. It used to be an actual food truck back in 2013. And if you kind of scroll through here, you can see 2015, 2015, but this is what it looked like in 2013. It's a little faded now. I didn't even notice that there were little duckies on it. It's rubber duckies. I wonder if the chef parked it here and then started his restaurant. Hmm. Oh, they got the paper on the tables. So I know what this means. Crawfish boil. I think they got the crawfish on there. This is a super cool setup. I bet they have some epic barbecues out here. What's up, man? Yeah, the video of the brisket and everything on it. Oh, that would be rad, man. Thank you. <laughs> so, her name is Betty. Betty? Yes. Black Betty, she's been a beautiful woman, probably the most loyal girl I've ever been with. <laughs> Only back stocks every now and then. But for the most part, she does what I like her to do. Okay. Careful, it is a little slippery. Gotcha. Oh my got god. Briskets here. And these are all for tomorrow. So these are gonna be they've been on since I wanna say around eight, nine this morning. Yeah. And they're gonna be on all day today, all night tonight. Oh my god. Come off tomorrow morning for tomorrow. Dude, that's beautiful. Thank you for bringing me back here, man. Yeah. I was, I was just getting I was just getting a more. shot of the grills and yeah, we got one more brisket back there, right there. Oh, that is awesome, man. Kind of just started get the, get things going and started in 2018. Then you know 2019 happened and COVID. And yeah. That stuff. But we were able to survive through it all, so I'm excited and I'm happy. They got like a coffee rub, barbecue sauce. I'm sure it's all homemade and a mustard sauce, and then this guy's vinegar based. And it. You guys want me to it explain fucks. the different barbecue sauce for y'all? Yes, please. Awesome. So the clear bottle there is like a tangy vinegar base. The yellow bottle, that's most people's favorite with some peaches in it. It's more of a sweet kind of barbecue sauce. Yep. The red one is my personal favorite with Shiner Black and coffee. So it's like a Shiner Molasses. Okay. All nice. unique, all different. I do recommend trying them all. All right, everything here is pretty goddamn good. I, they don't put raw onions in their coleslaw, which is amazing. God. God. Come back to Alamo. We're gonna do a collaboration with Alamo. It's cool because they have a coffee. Coffee? Huh, we know some people. Starbucks. <laughs> 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 Gotta come back for crawfish season. Pinch, twist, pull, eat, pill, eat, repeat every Friday and Saturday till we run out. 32 bucks for three pounds. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Curious about this barrel, though. What's that say? I know. I know. There's someone out there in the comments that knows what that says. Eli, dude, dude you're so hot. Okay, fine. I'll start the challenge over. What I get to 11 last time, and then 13 the first time. We're gonna hit 30. We're Third gonna hit 30. Third time's the charm. Whole Foods. You gonna get some kombucha? Okay. You get some kombucha. Yeah. Kombucha. You getting your booch? It smells really good in Whole, 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 Whole Foods, even though this place is pretentious. It's shit. <laughs> you got some sprouts yeah. with your booch. Yeah. Booch and sprouts from the Whole Foods. Dude, Whole Foods has the booch and the sush? Oh my god. They got booch and sush. Booch and the sush. For when you're really pretentious, white girl. You ever had that butternut lasagna? You look like a hawk stalking its prey. You're gonna get bouche and sush, huh? Look at that sush with your bouche. Can't do the bouche without the sush. Dude, they got sush bur burrito. <laughs> okay, nothing, you can't do it. Sush, bouche, and bur burrito? Don't even try. I've said it before. Who does? Ew! Onions don't belong in egg salad, coleslaw, or chicken salad. It's rude. Fucking, that's bit, all I taste now. You're into a whole onion. 
fucking disgusting. Do you want coffee? No. Okay. I'm not going to be in the Tarjay. New sauce, Blaz. So, I love Gator Hammock. It is the best sauce for sandwiches. And I used to eat it with... Oh my god. I used to eat it with Firehouse Subs all the time, talking about food poisoning. But I got a new one. Where, did, where the heck did I just put it? Oh, right here. Gator Hammock makes a swamp mustard. God, why are you not focusing? Gator Hammock makes a swamp mustard sauce now, and I bet it's really good. You can't go outside. Your, your low jack, your GPS is charging right now. So no outside for the turtle. I'm gonna go sleep on stream now. I mean, <sighs> technically, sorry. Attack sorry. I don't have that sponsor this fucking <laughs> month, Isaiah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have eight videos to do this month. I have eight ads. Eight. 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 eight ads. Eight. You know you can sleep on Twitch and you won't get banned. But I, you know what? What I'm scared about doing that though is like, what if I start scratching my nuts while I'm sleeping? Or, you know, like inappropriately touch myself in my sleep. It's not the right website to do that on. What if you sleep talk? And what if you, you sleep talk? You just start spewing out slurs. Slurs? Yeah. What if you do slurs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if, what if I start dreaming about Isaiah? What? <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty funny. That one time she found a possum named it Jeffrey and locked it in her shower and got drunk and fed up beef jerky. This sounds like something from from action figure therapy. Wait. Stanley the honey badger? Yeah. Possum in my bathroom. I named him Jeffrey. And I gave him some beef jerky. Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. With enough forced love anything will learn to tolerate your presence. She gave that poor possum Stockholm Syndrome. He's fine! She released it, but not before the damage was done. Emotionally. Ariana Grande! Ariana! Squirt, you can't go outside, your GPS is charging. Uh. This is hilarious. Batty was involved in a CBS story last night. States probe TikTok's impact on America's youth, right? Who's that Who's that right there with the minigun? <laughs> Batty streams. Don't let Batty around kids. He's bad for the youth. He's fucking TikTokers, man. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. They're, they aren't already fucked up enough. <laughs> uh, they gave me a MyBookie ad and I want to start something every week where when I get a big ad like that, I, I just do something nice for like law enforcement. Last week we gave $10,000 to Canines of Valor and we bought the vest so far for three Houston Canines, which is really cool. This week there's a young man who has a rare medical condition and I'll tell you more about that. I gotta look it back up. I can't remember exactly what it is and I don't wanna, I don't wanna misquote his parents or the doctors or anyone. But um, he has been sworn into like over a hundred police stations across Texas and the United States. He just, he's a big law enforcement fan. And I'm gonna get him and his brother some Nintendo Switches and some games and some other stuff. So that's gonna be my thing for this week. Hopefully there's another UFC fight next Saturday so that I can get another my book yeah and do something nice next week. That'd be cool. I forgot you even did that. Where you, you put baked beans into a donut yeah. and left it out for Jack Mandeville to eat. Well, I didn't leave it out for him specifically. No that was the best person thing. that could have came across it. Yeah, though. I know. Oh, we can't see it. Oh. Oh, it's oh, on your yeah. TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be on my Facebook Reels. Okay. Since I'm just talking about random nonsense today, I just want to say that DJ Khaled is still the biggest pussy in the world. Fucking pussy. He don't even eat pussy. Pussy. <laughs> I don't know, we got on a, a Hot Ones marathon last night and we were watching the worst episodes of Hot Ones and they had, what was that chick's name? She was from Empire, right? It was a very she, unusual name. She was hammered. And like, she she was annoying and then she got her bodyguard to Security, step in for her. Security Dave. Security Dave and he just made the entire episode. But then we watched, uh, Heather's never seen the DJ Khaled one either and I showed her that one. He quit on Cholula, the second sauce. Back when they had Cholula, I don't think they have it anymore. Quit on it, said it's too hot, and that they messed him up. And one of my favorite comments on there was, I've never seen a man talk so much and not say anything. Way too true, way too true. I didn't understand a damn thing he said that entire time. Also, speaking of hot ones, I ordered two sets of the season 17 boxes of hot ones. So like every single sauce that they're gonna have in season 17. We're probably gonna do it on the podcast 
with Batty and Eli and whoever our guest is during the podcast. So that'll be fun. Yeah, you should probably put that there. Okay. It fits with the Russia theme of this week. Sure. Somebody's gonna steal this. Yeah, they are. We gotta just come back and see if it's still there. Come back and see if it's still there. Perfect. Very cool. Did it. I did my duty for today. <laughs> Brandon just pointed something out to me. You search for Brandon Herrera on, on uh, Google, it comes up as a musical artist. It's for that wonderful 80% song you did. And... I, I, I guess that it's easier for Google to say that than makes guns and dick jokes on the internet. <laughs> With the president of Ukraine commenting. Oh yeah, that happened, huh? Yeah. I, yeah, I think there's like a 1% chance that anybody replies to that tweet, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a verified check mark right there next to President Zelensky. Zelensky. It's poor Ukraine. We're all Ukrainians. Huh. Brandon becomes a musical artist, and there's comments from the president of Ukraine. Batty is on a CBS, <laughs> CBS uh, thing for States Probe TikTok's Impact on America's Youth. <laughs> to be fair, I think Batty was always bad for America's youth. Yeah, let's be honest. 